So, so you guys are in a polygamous marriage. Yes. Okay. So, so what's it like in this living situation? Well, I do all the work around the house, but it's worth it to have my two women with me. I pamper them with gifts, and just the other day, I got Becky this new ring. I'll show them. He's great. He does everything for us. Look at this beautiful house he provides us. We just sit around and watch. He just gives us all of his love. They're everything to me. Well, their mothers gave them to me when they were only 18, and we got married soon thereafter. We've been living a productive and happy life for years since then. Well, when I was 18, my parents introduced me to Bob, just as Susan's parents introduced her to Bob. And we've just been in love ever since. Um, well, my mother introduced me to Bob when I was 18, and she scheduled the marriage really soon after that. I was kind of hesitant at first, but then I met Becky, and we became really close. Bob's a great guy and all, but um, it's just I'm more friends with Becky. If it wasn't for Becky, we wouldn't be married right now. Well, you know, I love Susan. We're like sisters. We are married, and I do love Bob. And as close as I am with Susan, I'm in it for Bob. He just gives us so many nice things. Why'd you wake us up? What the hell are you doing? It's time to get out of here. We're going right now. What? What's happening? It's our only time to leave. We gotta go right now. We have to go. We have to go. We gotta go. We gotta go. What are you doing? Buckle up, quick. What's going on? Daddy wakes up. We have to go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe you just did that. Faster, faster. I really don't want him to see us. I'm so scared. Don't worry, I have a plan for us. We're going to my brother's. It'll all be good. Your brother's? What if he doesn't let us? He will, he will. But what if he finds out? I'm so scared. No, don't worry. It's better for us. We can't go back there. You think? Yeah. Uh, he was just a bad, bad thing for both of us. Yeah, but uh, I've never lived on my own. I've never cleaned. I've never cooked. I've never done anything. He did everything for us. I know, me neither, but my, I think my brother will be understanding about it. He'll, yeah, he'll get it. I think he'll take care of us really well. Hopefully, because I really don't know what to do besides going back, which I don't think is a good idea. No, he can't find out. We can't talk to him at all, ever again. Okay. We'll be fine at my brother's. So that's how we got here. We just really needed to get out. It was a bad situation for both of us. Yeah, but if you want to live here, you have to do chores around here. you got to take responsibility. But you're my brother. Shouldn't you just take care of us? I just have no money to support three people in this house. Um, well, when we were younger, we had a strict religious upbringing, and I just didn't want to continue following that path as I grew up, so uh, we kind of split our ways, and then I just, I don't know, Bob is kind of an asshole. Um, I mean, we've never really done chores before. Yeah, chores? I don't know how to do the dishes. I don't know how to sweep a floor. It'll be easy. I'll teach you. Haven't you heard of guests? Yeah, but guests only stay for so long. You're and helping us out. I'm low on money. I need help uh, to support three people and all these dogs that I have living here. It's dogs? already enough with them. Okay, we'll try our best, but I don't know how it'll turn out. We're not going to make a bigger mess than your dogs. What the hell are you doing? I'm cleaning the toilet like you told me to. With my toothbrush? You said use the brush. No, the toilet brush. Oh. I cleaned your dog for you. Oh, not bad. That's very cute. How you doing? Good? It was so easy, you just pressed a button. I'll do it anytime. Wait, button? I just put her in the machine, closed it, pressed the button. She was done in like an hour. The, the laundry machine? You said to wash it. That's called the wash.
made this one. It's okay. Don't worry about it. No, really. They already made it. No. It's, not, it's not a big deal. It's not okay. We need extra things now. No, it's really okay. Just stop. Just stop. Just get us extra okay. Why do you need to talk to us? Well, for starters, what are you guys doing? I'm so sorry. Like, Bob didn't teach me anything. I'm really trying. He told me to watch the dog. I watched the dog. I'm trying to do everything he told me to do. I just don't understand. Well, when I say watch the dog, I don't mean put it in the laundry machine and then click a button. I mean take a hose and some, or put it in the bath and wash it with soap and water. I know, but I, no one ever taught me how to do that. I'm just trying. I'm sorry, that whole toothbrush thing, that was my fault. I should have asked you about the brush first, but I'm really trying to. Like, I, I want to stay here for a while because I definitely don't want to go back to Bob because that was just a horrible situation, but I'll try my best to do better, but that was all on me. Bob used to wash the toilets, and we never had a dog. I guess I understand some of the things, but you took my toothbrush. Like, come on. You know that's my toothbrush. You said brush! Yeah, well, there's a brush right there. I mean, whatever. She really didn't mean it. I'm sure she didn't. <laughs> Becky, you okay? Get out! Get out! What's wrong? Is she okay? I don't know. She's just coming. Becky, what's wrong? <laughs> I have to go back. Don't so bad for us. I just I just feel so bad. She can't go back to him. Look, I don't really think I can live here anymore. I just, I can't do with your strict rules. I just need to be free. I need to do my own thing. I, I understand that you feel that way, but I don't want you going back to Bob. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm not going back to Bob. I just need to do my own thing and experience the world for myself. Alright, well, just know that I'm here, but if you're going to live here, you got to live by my rules, but I understand you want to go, so. Thank you. It was really nice for my brother to have me. I just don't think I can live by his rules anymore. I just want to experience the world. So I think I'm going to stay one more night and then leave tomorrow. Good morning. I wanted to talk to you because I think I'm going to leave my brother's because I don't want to live by his set of rules anymore. So I want you to come with me. Oh, okay, definitely. All right, I'm just going to go get my stuff ready. So we should be ready by tonight. Okay. back to him. I needed him. I missed him. Why? He was so bad to us. But he was also did so many good things for us and I'm just so in love with him. You need to live on your own. You need to learn. I can. Well, if you stay with him, never talk to me again. I'm sorry, I didn't even see you there. I live in the Rocky Mountains. I've been finding meaning in some yoga, so I've been doing a ton of retreats. It's great. So this is a hostel that I live in. It's pretty nice. It gives me everything I need. All the people here are really nice. It's way better than my brother's place. I don't really have to do much. Okay. What are you doing here? What's up? How's it going? Um, pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, so, how's it been? So we've been seeing each other for a few months now, and Susan's, re Susan's really nice, and. I'm excited about how things are going, and I'm excited for the future. So are you seeing anyone, or? No, I'm just trying to live, live by myself and see how that goes. No one's in the picture? Nope, no one at all. Well, I just love Becky so much. Things are going great, but I can't wait to find another wife. Look at these beautiful diamond earrings he just got me. I just love him. So do you miss Susan ever, or...? 
you know, it's a new leaf. We're not talking about that. It's a new story. It's fine without her. You know, Bob and I agree we're better than ever. I just couldn't imagine being without him. He's actually the best thing for me. So have you guys settled out your differences, or? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. The documentary starts now. Oh, you want this to be the beginning? Yeah. Just disregard everything else we filmed, and this is where we begin? Yes. I would say so. Um, okay.